Hello everyone, welcome. Come on into the kitchen. We are cooking with Mr. Taterbug tonight. Looking to make a, a good old country easy dinner. Um, tonight we're going to do some burger steaks and gravy with some onion sauteed and uh, we're going to have mashed potatoes and some asparagus and a cheese sauce. So, this is going to be just a real comfort food for you. Uh, just an easy, easy little meal to make. And uh, again, just a comfort food. It's, uh, it's some good old country cooking. This is not even, not going to be a whole bunch of a teaspoon of this and a cup of that. And we're going to, we're just going to do this by the seat of our pants. And maybe you want to hold on to the seat of your pants and see what happens because something always does. <laughs> Patty, there's Patty and Deborah. They're saying hey to you. Hey everybody, this is my lovely assistant, and I know you can't see her. She's off camera. She <laughs> was just on camera. Uh, my lovely assistant, my wife Lindy, with Tater Buggin. There's Carla and Debbie and Rose and Bertha. Hey Carla, everybody. Bertha Glad to every Hey nice. everybody, come on in. That's great. Glad to see y'all. Um. Everybody probably knows how to do a, a hamburger steak. We're going to do it a little differently tonight. Uh, and, you know, as usual, uh, we're going to do it a little different because we're going to use deer burger. Uh, and I'll show you how to cook it and how to get it uh, smothered in some gravy and onions. Minnie, I love, love, love that hashtag, y'all. Let's make that, let's, let's make that viral or something. What was that? Uh, hashtag ST Tater Bug. Sweet Tater Bug. Wait. No. ST Blessings. Sweet Tater Bug Blessings. Hey, Amanda. There's hey, Amanda Carla. from Amanda May. Amanda May is here. Thank you, Amanda. Glad to have you. There's Heidi. Gail Chandler and Becky from Texas. Joanne. I see Judy Zeppa. Thank you for sprinkling. We appreciate that. Uh, let's get started here because uh, we're going to have a lot going on. Uh, we're going to have some set-aside time if Penny Williams is here. I haven't seen Penny yet. Okay. Hey, Rhonda. Everybody grab a glass of tea or a glass of wine or cold beer, whatever you need, and uh, let's get started here. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so you can see more of what I'm doing. Marcia says and her good-looking husband. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all going to make him blush again. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. What we're going to start with... We're gonna we're gonna sauté some uh, onions and get those sautéed and caramelized. We're gonna use about three tablespoons of butter here to do that in. Can you see my skillet there? Can you see the skillet, darling? Uh, yes, you sure can. All right. Perfect. I'm gonna turn this heat up. I got the the skillet's kind of warmed up a little bit, but I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I have. Uh, just to save some time, I have uh, already cubed up some potatoes. Um, I cubed those up about half inch cubes and they are boiling right now to soften for our mashed potatoes. Um, it'll take them a few minutes to get going. We're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees for our asparagus. Okay. <laughs> I think that happens about every time, doesn't it? All right. Can you see my American flag? All right. This is going to get going here. We're going to get this butter melted. Get that heat up. And I've got some onions that I've already sliced kind of thin. So uh, we can have some onion rings sauteed. And I've got a bunch. I like a bunch of onions. It's really good to have all of that. On. I'm very lucky, Elizabeth. You're right. I, he took over all the cooking after he retired, and I was not. Um, what's the word? That didn't hurt your feelings it at all, did it? It did not hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh, oh, I bet that was good, Rose. We love that, too. That's right, Frida. He's very patriotic. He sure is. Hi, Monica. All right, I've got... Uh, the onions in there. 
Now, uh, what we're going to use uh, as far as the meat, I'm going to use two pounds of just ground deer burger. Uh, you can use, of course, you can use ground beef, you can use ground chuck, um, you can use turkey if you want to. But what I'm going to do is just make some nice big burgers. We're going to try to do everything, or pretty much everything, right here in one skillet. Um, once these onions get going here. Carol's wishing you a happy Thursday, Mr. Taterbuggin. Well, thank you. It's Carol... Stinson. Oh, okay, yes. Hey, Deborah. She said it sounds really tasty. Wanda says, finally got you on. Hope I didn't miss much. You did not, Wanda. He's just sauteing some onions. We are just getting going here. Um, Cindy made it back. Hey, Cindy. For those of you that had... Um, just to, uh, as a note, for those of you that had a uh, tear tray ordered, I shipped out 10 of those today. Kind of in a little back order there, but I finally got all of those made and uh, all but one is going out. There's one of the girls that's um, out of town. She asked me not to ship it for a couple of days, but uh, they are going out now and uh, we hope to have the uh, tear trays back in the shop maybe uh, later next week. Uh, i got to catch up on a bunch of uh, Lindy's mini gnomes and, and large gnomes. Uh, he gets his own deer, Becky, and takes it to a processor. But yes, we, we, do. we eat all parts of it. We don't waste a thing. Well, we eat everything but the ears. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Is it Shema from Egypt? Really? A follower from Regis. I had to translate your um, your comment. We're so happy to have you here. Hey, Glenda from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tuscaloosa. Glenda is sprinkling the taters. Wonderful. It smells good in here already. Yeah, I've got the onions going. Now we're going to do a little salt and pepper. And everybody knows my fancy salt and pepper grinders. Oh, I do two Cindy. We love venison. I've grown to love it more than uh, beef now, in all forms. Hello, Beverly from Albany, Georgia. Little ground pepper. And Crystal has rolled the taters. There's Penny Williams. Penny, get ready because we are about. In just a few minutes, we are going to do some set-aside stuff. Uh-oh. Crystal's from New Jersey. His brother just headed up to New Jersey today. Hey, Patsy and Rita and Gigi. Gigi from Hendersonville, Tennessee. How about that? Hendersonville, Tennessee? Uh-huh. That's over in East Tennessee. Oh, is it? Oh, uh -huh. I was thinking Henderson County. Henderson is... Close to us, that's close to where I deer hunt. But yeah. Hendersonville is over in East Tennessee. Oh, okay. You're on the pretty end of Tennessee. Oh, that's so sweet, Carmela. That's sweet of her. He's he's making dinner for my parents too, so this is gonna feed four of us. And yes. probably have enough for Chris when he gets home from work too. Should have enough for Chris. Teresa, he loves them. They're on in our Amazon list, on our Amazon uh, favorites list that's at the top of our page. Hey, there's Dana Glass. Dana Glass, guess what? Did you get your email? I shipped you a tear tray today. Yes, you can, Dana. You sea salt in it. Isn't that, is that what you put in your sea What's salt? that? Can you put sea salt in your paint? Sea salt is, yes. Uh, that's what I, I that's what, Usually I use a sea salt or a uh, kosher salt. Yeah. And there is Teresa, who is new to our page from Melbourne, Arkansas. Welcome, Teresa. We're so happy you're here. Melbourne or Melbourne? It says Melbourne. Melbourne, okay. There's two. Um, Gigi says it's actually in Middle Tennessee, just 10 miles northeast of Nashville, Hendersonville. Yeah, but it's on the east side of Nashville, so that's East Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> we use Nashville as that mid-mark. Everything gets pretty right before you get to Nashville and then pass. I don't say that. Oh, it's pretty it. here. Well, I know, but we don't have those pretty mountains. And we don't have the scenic views, do we? No, we're in the Delta. And Kathy's watching from Muscle Shoals. Muscle Shoals. Home of Fame Music Studio. And the, uh, there's a NASA Space Center there. Betty, you got to let us know 
know. I hope it's in your mailbox. Hello, Cindy. All right, potatoes are coming along. In your, the, uh, the engine. engine. <laughs> the engine. <laughs> the <laughs> oven. <laughs> I thought we were going to call those engines. Nope. The oven is preheated now. For those of y'all who are new, I just got to tell you, every night he cooks, it's an adventure. I mean, cooks live. Because let's see, we've had a fire. We've called 911. <laughs> we've had some serious bacon grease spillage. Um, what else? You, you tossed something out, uh, the chicken out of the... <laughs> uh, yeah, I tossed chicken out. I spilled, it's fun. I, I spilled flour all down the front of my brand new uh, apron here that, again, thank you for the apron. Shirley said, did you get a haircut? Who? Shirley. Sure. <laughs> I did yesterday. <laughs> so how, do you, how did they see that? They saw that. Oh, Patsy got her screen door and scarecrow. She can't wait to paint this weekend. Yay, go to work on that. Make that scarecrow look good. Oh, there's another penny that says it's our first time watching your cooking show from Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, That's North a great Carolina place. Too. Welcome. Oh, good. Sandy loves Deer Burger, too. Now, there's Diane from now, Windsor, Canada. All right. While these are cooking, we're going to take two pounds of Deer Burger here into a big bowl and just kind of crumble that up a little bit. We're going to get this going here. Our potatoes will be going here, and we're going to get the asparagus going. We're going to do the asparagus and a little cheese sauce. For the record, the Benadryl did nothing for me. Oh, did you really? Carol noticed your haircut, too. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you, Dana. That's so sweet. Thank so you. on on this little dish, we're going to be using our hands a little bit, so don't, don't be shy. It's Shirley's first time to watch your cooking show, too. Welcome, Shirley. All right. We'll crumble that up a little bit. We're going to add a, a little garlic powder, maybe about a good level tablespoon full. Oh, Della, it does smell good. And listen, Teresa said, don't forget the eggshells in the cake. Oh, yeah. And the what? <laughs> eggshells in the cake. Oh, yeah. We got those eggshells out, though. <laughs> Our onions are coming along really good here. Now... I put a little garlic in this. Secret in ingredient. This is a package of onion soup. Lipton's onion soup. And we're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna mix that all in to what's gonna be our burgers. I'm so glad you caught us live too, Carmela. I know you stay so busy taking care of your sweet husband. Good evening, Debbie. Those onions are just about ready. We're going to take those out. And... Got to cook them good for my mama. Yep, got to, got to brown them. We're just going to brown them just a little bit. You're not going to get them all caramelized? I'm going to try to get them clear, but... All right, so that's ready to go. Let me wash my hands a little bit. I wish y'all could see his dog right now. That big old dog, Sarge, is laid out in the den, and he brought his blanket over to the middle of the den and has it between his two front legs laying his head on. He loves his blanket. He's just a baby. <laughs> He's just a baby is right. Marie all says right. she loves all you do. Isn't that sweet? Ooh, those onions are looking good. Hey, Denise. Can y'all see those onions? Can you see those onions, darling? Uh-huh. Sure We're going to get those just a little bit, cook just a little bit more. In the meantime, we're going to press out some patties. This is one of your husband's favorite meals, except for the asparagus. Darlene, I would bet if you fix it, the asparagus the way he's going to make it tonight, he may just love it. I think you ought to try it because it's really... I didn't think I liked asparagus, but this way is so good. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to make 
some burger patties, and I'm gonna set those aside for right now, Penny. <laughs> Until these onions get done, the, the potatoes are cooking. Hey, Janet. I gotta get those, the asparagus going too, because it has to cook a little bit. We're gonna go to that next. And that's just real simple. Let me get these burgers out. I'm gonna turn these, the heat down on these onions a little bit. Now I like some good, good old burger patties. These are not going on a sandwich, so make them healthy. By healthy, you mean fat, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, darling? When I was growing up, and the way we raised our boys was that you can't say you don't like something unless you try it one time, one bite, and if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. And we'd find out, and my boys always found out, they actually loved it. So, this is a thought. I know, Penny, I oh, love caramelized onions. Yes, indeed. Oh, Teresa, I'm so sorry. She had a, a German Shepherd that helped her cook every night, too. Hmm. They just don't live long enough. They don't. I think dogs, she lives so much longer. Oh, Sarah went and found her mini pumpkins. Oh. oh, she did. She already, already went to the DT, huh? Actually, she found it. At, found a twelve pack at uh, Party City. I can't wait to see hers. Did you, Maureen? Yeah. Um, they never forced Loopy. me to eat something I didn't like, but I did have to taste it. I couldn't just say I didn't like it. And my kids, our kids, have always been better eaters than I ever was. So. All right, our onions are coming along here real good. Okay, now here's a question for you from Dreama. Off subject, but have you made hollandaise sauce? I've heard it's great, but don't know how to fix it. I can show you how to do it sometime, but... Not me, but her. Yeah. There. <laughs> I can show. I can show. What was her name? Dreama. Dreama. I can show you maybe. Uh, we'll make that on a, on an upcoming show. It's really not that hard to do. All right. Oh, that's a good idea, Diane. I like that. All right, I've kind of proportioned these, and I was hoping that I could get two, or, I'm sorry, five good burgers out of this two pounds of, of meat. Glenda, I hope you can, you know, you might happen upon some, but think outside the box and see if you see anything like that, or grab you a, a set of salt and pepper shakers and do the same trick with the tassel out the bottom. All right, we're going to get these onions out of here now. These are cooked long enough, I believe. You know what, I'm going to let, these, because of Mom, I'm going to let those caramelize a little bit more while we get the Asparagus going here. Uh, which dog did you just have begging at your feet just then? I missed it. Was, what, what, was what? it was it Pete in there? What now? Was it the white dog or uh, a big old long nosed German Shepherd? We think he's more Malinois than German Shepherd, but I believe he is too. Yeah, they're always close by. Bo is the most polite one who stays out of Daddy's way unless he's called. All right, asparagus. Does everybody know what how to how to prepare asparagus? Ah, there's Chris. Chris, our son is here. All right, asparagus. To find the the right part of it, you just give it a little bend like that, and the good parts will snap free. Yeah, that's our Pete Carol. Okay, now listen to this. Uh, Patsy wants to know: Do y'all dress the deer? or take it to the meat market, wondering if you do anything for the wild taste. Um, we, I always take the deer to a processor after I field dress it. 
Um, and really as far as the taste, the, the, the one trick that I can tell you about deer meat is, and I've said this before, is to make sure and get the blood out of it. Uh, even if you have a, if you have steaks and you have them in a package, rinse those real good, just like uh, a butcher would beef. They rinse the meat real good to get that taste out of it. You'd be surprised how much, how beef tastes if it's not clean good. Yes, happy anniversary, Dreama. It's her 33rd anniversary today, but her husband <laughs> forgot, so she has to please say happy anniversary. Oh, me. Excuse me a minute. Uh, I use garlic salt instead of regular salt in case there's wild taste. We've not had any problem with this processor, and they wanted to know if they add filler in at your processor. It depends on how you want it done. I always ask them to put a little beef fat in the burger. In the sauces, they put a little pork fat and, of course, all the seasonings that go with it. All right, so asparagus ready to go. Here's what we're going to do. A little olive oil, and we're just going to drizzle a little bit on there, and then we're going to turn those a little bit just to kind of coat them. Oh, my mother and stepfather absolutely love this asparagus. All right, and... It does help to kind of get the asparagus lined up. Chris, did you see Dad make sure he had a burger for you? I hope he did. All right, so, uh, all right, we've got that. The next thing we want to do with the asparagus is to take heavy whipping cream. Yeah, heavy whipping cream. And we're just going to drizzle a little bit of that over just to kind of coat the bottom of this casserole dish. That's done. Thank you, Alice. I'm so happy you're here. Mayor does love the And Dana Glass says she could eat that whole thing of a spirit. Oh, they're, it's delicious. All right. Take about a cup of uh, shredded mozzarella cheese, and we're just gonna spread that around all over the top of it. That's about a cup worth there. We're going to salt and pepper it. <laughs> William said, stop it right now. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? <laughs> Heidi said she would have never guessed whip, whipping cream. Hey, there's Lee. Heavy whipping cream. There's Lee from the Turquoise Valentine. Hello, Lee. All right, salt and pepper. Right, Carol? I think, you know, it's pretty good. Now we're going to put some garlic salt powder. Garlic powder. And... Be kind of generous with that. All right, that's done. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven. We got oven preheated 350 degrees. We're gonna put a timer on that for about 23 minutes. Yeah, you got Cindy Kane all drooling over that asparagus. I'm telling you. All right, these onions are coming out of the skillet. Oh, they're out of stock, Diane? Uh-oh. Did, did y'all sell them out? What's that? Your salt and pepper shakers. Oh, really? Yeah, they're good. He loves those. All right. Uh, Rebecca wants to know if you've ever made lemon butter asparagus. I don't think we've ever had that. I don't think I've ever tried that one. Sounds good. All right, the onions are out of here. We're going to put... A little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan here, maybe a half a tablespoon. And we're going to put these burgers in here. Oh, hey, cuz, there's Dante. He said he loves your shirt. He's a retired military man. Yep, there's times I wish I had done that. He was going to go in the Air Force. All right, so the burgers are in. I brought the. Now, Bessie says this is torture. 
She's so hungry. <laughs> you just got to go get you some food to cook. All right, the burgers, I brought the temperature back up on these burgers. We're going to cook those just like any burger. Uh, and I don't know if y'all know the trick of pushing a little dimple in the middle of the burger. That helps the center of it cook. What'd you do with the onions? Penny's worried about the onions. Okay. The onions are right here on the plate. Penny is? Mm -hmm. He they, set them aside. Yep, they are set aside, Penny. Yes, these are venison burgers, Joan. You can do it with um, ground beef or, you know, ground sirloin or, you know, Chuck whatever. or even turkey. Or turkey, yeah. You can do it with turkey. We're going to bring that... Uh, Gail Chandler missed what you mixed with the meat, what you put in the meat. Oh, I just put salt, pepper, and a, uh, so a little bit of garlic powder and a package of onion soup mix. Della, he did not. She Where? said they had some of the salt and pepper shakers and her husband threw them out when they were empty. When I guess he thought he could refill them. Now, Amanda didn't know about the dimple trick either, so... Yeah, but it'll just help the uh, the burgers. You can do that on the grill too. Just put a little dimple right in the middle. And can they see that? Uh, yes. Can and you see that? Debbie Cran's got her shirt today. Yay! And her little teal package. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. While we're letting those burgers begin to cook, we're gonna get these mashed potatoes going here. Now, Joyce said hello, and she's glad she caught us alive. I'm glad you caught us alive, too. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you caught us alive, too. <laughs> Amanda says the dimple makes them look cute. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to uh, drain these potatoes. I'm I doing this over the sink smell. where you can't see it. I wish y'all could smell what this kitchen smells like right now. Oh. Susan, if you go to our Amazon link that's at the top of our tater bugging page, they're in there. They're, um, they're grinders. You just push a little button on the top and they get a little light in it and grinds your salt and pepper for you. Yeah, this is actually venison, uh, Don. This is venison burgers that he made. Yep. And Lana got her shirt yesterday. Yay! Okay, uh, let's see if I can get... The mixer over here. Hi, Sylvia. Can you hear it, Penny? Can you hear that sizzling? Yeah, those will be sizzling pretty good here in just a few minutes. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get our little hand mixer out. What is Crawford? Crawford's uh -oh, shenanigans going on. A little bit of shenanigans. Oh good, there's going to be all these sweet tater bugs walking around with their tater bugging t-shirts on. I'm so happy. Alright, we're going to just kind of start. What am I doing? There we go, okay. Just kind of at a low speed, we're going to start chopping these up. kind of get going with that and then we're going to put some butter in there and we're just going to put a lot of butter in these because that really makes them good. <laughs> I love this. zucchini bread too. I don't, zucchini is one thing I cannot get a taste for but I love zucchini bread. All right, just about a half a stick of butter. Uh, Dreamo, we kind of both tag him on that. It just depends on who's doing what on what day. After he's cooked like this, I try to clean up for him. But he's good about cleaning up as you go. About what? Cleaning up as you go. She wanted to know who does the dishes. Uh, and I was telling her, we just, whoever gets to him first. We're a team. Kenny says you just got to be smarter than the small appliances. <laughs> I don't think that's enough butter. We're going for the full boat. Oh, 
Debbie did it. Oh, see, you gotta watch those things. I'm like you are. I see that type of stuff too, but that got past me. She said, funny, he wiped his clean hands on the towel, the same towel he used to clean his finger after he put dimples in the Do you have to tell him all my secrets? I'm sorry, I'm an ex food worker. Well, I got a, I got my towel underneath here because this pot is hot right now, so I'll be getting a fresh one out. It's really soft, Carol. I love those t-shirts. All right, those are in pretty good shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to reach and grab that same container of heavy whipping cream. Brenda, I'm glad they let you back in this time. My goodness. Debbie, that's sweet of you to say. She says, how do you two stay so slim eating all these wonderful dishes? I don't. I have got to lose some weight. I'm about to get serious about it all. All right, I put uh, maybe a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream in here. Like I said, we're not using uh, we're not using measuring sticks tonight. We're just going by the seat of our pants. So y'all hold on. <laughs> Yeah, he's waiting for a burger. What? He's waiting for a burger. No, all those dogs are. <laughs> Kathy says they only eat on Thursday. <laughs> we save up all week long and we just eat on Thursday, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Did Hi, you Lord. feed them? Yeah, I did. I fed okay. them. Yeah, those, yes, we did have supper. Yes, we did. I'm just going to salt and pepper these potatoes a little bit. That's our Wookiee. Yeah, I have a Wookiee in the house. You want to see him, Sarge? Come here. Come here. Come here. What, what were you saying over there? What were you saying to Pete? Huh? He was to Pete. Look, All right, lots of black pepper. We love black pepper in our food here. So, I'm just going to give those a little mix. Oh, a Stromboli weekend. Oh, that's Tell me. Good. Go for the Stromboli. Potatoes are good. So we have a good consistency of mashed potatoes here. I'm going to put those on the stove, but not on another burner. Thank you, Rhea. And I'm going to get a fresh towel out of the drawer here. Amanda, is the sizzle sound almost as soothing as Guitar Dave playing in the background? Because <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, let's see how these burgers are doing. They're cooking along. We're gonna turn the fire up a little bit. We got about 13 minutes on our uh, asparagus. Sylvia says she makes your stromboli and her husband loves it. And Shelly says it's one of my favorite meals to cook. Hey, Shaylin. Um, let's see, Wendy, have you ever tried double dip zucchini slices? I've never heard of that, Don. What is that? Um, I've tried zucchini fried. I've tried zucchini boats. I've tried all the zucchini, and I really don't like it. Gerald loves it. I do. All right, burgers are coming along. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Amanda says yes. You need sizzle in the background of your life all the time. <laughs> I'm going to work on that. Maybe I can record this sizzle and just play it in the background while I'm crafting. It's just like waves. Oh, Diane, we will. We're going to divide it up. It will go next door to my parents. We will eat it, and then when Chris gets home from work, our son, he will have a plate of it. Yep. All right. Uh, we're just kind of in a... At a standstill here right now while we wait on this food to cook. 
Y'all got any questions for him? Mashed potatoes are ready. The burgers are cooking real good. They are looking good. I, can you see? I think you can see those in the you picture. You can see them real good, all five of them. All right. We're and just going to listen to the sizzle for a minute. <laughs> Everybody listen to the sizzle. All right, do this. While, while we're waiting, go to our shop. <laughs> <laughs> by no. <laughs> Find something you can't live without. Uh, that's right. Our shop, by the way, for those that are new here or are not, not heard, um, all of our crafts and products are in a shop. It's Shopify. It's taterbuggin.shopify yep. or taterbuggin.myshopify.com. <laughs> Yay. Look oh, up. Betty said she had four big bucks in her front yard last night at dusk. Oh. Cheryl said it's time to dance. What? <laughs> It's time to dance. It is. For entertainment while you're waiting for your burgers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I only dance when somebody says, ooh darn. <laughs> <laughs> These burgers are coming along. We're not going to overcook those. Glenda, my, our sweet tater bugs, uh, Betty and Opa and Cindy and Anne Marie sent him that apron. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that's... Uh, it made him blush. Yeah. And he wears it. And he loves it. I wear it because y'all sent it to me. Yeah. Marjorie said, ooh, darn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, and Diane wants to know what we're having for dessert. Um, We're going to, with this fat and food, we really don't need dessert. No, we don't eat much dessert around here. Uh, Rita says, do y'all cook daily for your parents? That's so sweet. I know they enjoy it. We cook several times a week for them. Uh, if we don't, they... My mama hates to cook. <laughs> if, if we don't, they go get a, a, a TV dinner or something. And, uh, they, they eat a lot of Wendy's. <laughs> oh, so we're trying to keep them from eating the TV dinners and the fast food. We're so. trying to keep them... Trying to keep them healthy. <laughs> Marjorie said, yes, dance, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna let's keep see. These. Uh, Sue wants to know, I want to know, does he have a single brother that likes to cook? <laughs> the only single brother he has, has a, he's a mess. <laughs> yeah, he's got. No, we're not even gonna. <laughs> he's, he's a sweetheart, but Lord ha help him. Um, Carmela, that's what I need to do. I never ate much when I had to cook it. If I had to deal with raw meat, I lost my appetite. And so I'd eat a little bit, but not much. I should start doing that now. She said she lost a bunch of weight, so she had to start cooking for her husband because he had a stroke. And so, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope he's doing okay. I know she's, she's having taking to good take care, care of him. Yeah. Did I see Trisha on there? Trish. Excuse me. Uh, there's a Tracy on there. Okay. Hey, Tracy. Pete says he's going to lay right here at my feet until something falls in the floor. Because he knows. I trained him well because when I cook, invariably I drop something. And he was cleanup proof. So. Yes, he was. Yeah, he's very good at that. All right. Asparagus is coming along real good. The mashed potatoes are good. All right. Asparagus is coming along real good. The mashed potatoes are good. Says, Hello, um, Mr. T. See if that. Uh, try those potatoes and see if they've got enough salt and pepper in them. Those are good. My eyes just rolled back in my head. What, what do you say? Ooh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> I never met a potato I didn't like. <laughs> Betty said she had four big bucks in her front yard last night at dusk. It's so good, Dolores. I just got a taste test of the mashed potatoes. Mm. All right, our burgers are coming along here. <laughs> You've got a lot of laughing emojis when you did your second dance. <laughs> oh, Cindy, welcome. She said it's your first, her first time to see you, and it looks good. Mayor, oh. we love extra pepper, too. I'll add... Uh, more pepper to my mashed potatoes when they, he plates it too. Shepherd Doberman crawl. Oh, I thought he was pretty. 
Uh, we think that he is mostly Malinois, but part German Shepherd. But he has does not have the lower slung hips like a German Shepherd. Right. I, I, I think he's more Malinois than than he is German Shepherd. We this is the this is our animal's house. We have three dogs, three rescue dogs, and a rescue cat. And it's their house, and we just live in it. We love them. So That's much. right. That's right. Um, oh, really? Talk for just a minute while I get this. Okay, sure. Um, that's sweet, Rhea. <laughs> I'm glad it looks appetizing. Hubby loves hamburgers and his gravy. Oh, Carla, this meal is for him. Sizzling calls for an electric slide. I wonder if he still knows how to do all that stuff. I don't. How do those burgers? Oh, I can't wait to taste them, Penny. Oh, welcome, Nancy. Another first-time viewer from South Carolina. Dancing and cooking, the talented Mr. T. <laughs> South Carolina. My sister lives in uh, Aiken. Aiken, South Carolina. Francis, he's still cooking these uh, burger patties. He's got his mashed potatoes made, and the asparagus is in the oven. Hey, buddy. These are... Pretty well cooked. Just a few more minutes, we're gonna make some gravy. Ooh, great. Oh, Pamela, she's a little bit late, but that's okay. We're making, um, well, you can do them with hamburger, whatever kind of meat you want. These are venison burgers, sauteed onions, mashed potatoes, and roasted asparagus. My sister taught me. And Nancy says your sister's about 40 miles from home. Really? And that sweet sister of mine taught me how to make this gravy. So it's, sure did. it's good old milk gravy. So it, it's delicious. Um, yeah, you, she, uh, when she was here, she stayed with us for like three weeks. Yeah, so. three or four weeks. She oh, it was wonderful. Came up and stayed with us. She's a wonderful cook. And Becky wants to know what you put on the asparagus. Um, okay. asparagus. We put, uh, first of all, you, you know how to break the asparagus and get the right part, uh, but just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it, um, and then um, about a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Just drizzle that all over so it just kind of coats the bottom of the casserole dish. Um, salt, pepper, some garlic powder. Uh, then some uh, mozzarella cheese, about uh, uh, half a cup or so of mozzarella cheese. Pop it in the oven uh, at 350 degrees for about 23 minutes. Heidi, um, That's my time on, on my oven anyway, 23 to 25 minutes, something like that. You can kind of watch which I do. I kind of peek in on it. It's kind of browning up now because it's got only, oh, it smells so good. You smell that when I, I open do, the oven? Yes. Uh, Heidi. Us, go to your local shelter and um, just we would every time we're ready to rescue again we'll take them each one by one out into the little play yard and check their personalities um, that's how we got Pete and we knew immediately he was the one and uh, the other two have come to us not from shelter well they were both, it's a long story but yes rescue 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 Especially a senior dog, if you can, you know, you want to do that. Rescue dogs are the best. Oh, my goodness. They, look, they appreciate you every day of their lives. Yeah, they do. Our sweet kitty cat does, too. He's awesome. Cindy, that's okay. We're just glad you're here. Who's that? Cindy Arnico. She said, hi, I'm late. So I told her that's okay. Catch us on the replay. You yeah. can go back and watch all of it. In the South, we love our gravy, too. If you don't quit, those logins, I'll What's he doing? Oh. <laughs> all right, don't mean to be boring here. These guys are cooking. That's all right. Y'all got any questions? Throw Two them more out minutes, here. those that asparagus is going to come out, and I'm going to show you what that looks like, and then we're going to have some gravy. I'm going to put this up. We're just going to enjoy that sizzle. 
Huh? Can enjoy that sizzle. Enjoy the sizzle. All right, these are. Both of us, Kathy. I want him over. He used to not be, but he's the one who rescued Sarge. Um, that's a whole different, a whole other story. But uh, I was rescuing, and then um, he turned into one. He is a wholehearted animal lover now. Oh, thank you, Betty. All right, these burgers are coming out. We're gonna just take those out of the skillet. And we're gonna set those aside for those people that are interested in that. <laughs> Don takes his biscuits and gravy with his first solid food. I don't doubt it. It's oh, it's biscuits and gravy. Stop it. Good stuff. Thank you, Carla. I got right. those tiny pumpkins at Dollar Tree in a pack of four. So in this grease, we're gonna leave all that grease in the Right there in the uh, skillet. Rhea, I'm so sorry. I didn't see that when it went by. And we're gonna we're gonna add about three tablespoons of flour to that, and we're gonna make a roux. And you cook this. You want all that good brownness that's that was in that skillet. All the bits off the bottom. Yep, all the bits off the bottom. And we just want to stir this until the flour cooks a little bit, make sure all the lumps come out of it. I hope you can find them, Carla. Um, I've had mine for, I don't know, a while, since I first started putting out the Halloween stuff, and I had that idea. I was just trying to mull it over in my brain to see how to figure it out. But we do, Janet. They bring us joy every day of our lives. They're worth every hair and every <laughs> bit of dirt they bring in. And yeah, it's a vacuum more. That's all right. I've got a good bit of grease in there, so I'm going to go with four tablespoons of flour just to make a good roux. And you got to stir this. You got to keep it going. And you want to try to stir it until all that flour cooks and all the lumps come out of it. And the asparagus is ready. I'll turn the timer off and... You want me to start from this side while you do that? No, I think I got it, babe. I can, uh... I can multitask. Okay. All right. That's looking good. The asparagus is coming out. Yeah, he loves this, this skillet too, Rhea. And there's the asparagus. Oh. Cooked and brown and cheese kind of browns up. So, good. so I'm gonna set that aside. And this roux is just about done, so we're gonna grab some water. Just plain old water. And we're going to incorporate that and stir. It does, Ellen. Everything smells so good. And if you watch real quickly, that starts to th thicken up. So we just add some more water because we want to keep it thinned out. Keep it stirred and keep it mixed up. A little bit more water here. Because the flour in there begins to cook and you have to keep it moving and mixed up. All right, you watch that if you can see. Um, can they see that skillet good back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see that this begins to thicken up as we go along. Keep it mixed up, add a little bit more water. Lisa, I'm hungry. Keep it thinned out. Gravy. Rhonda says, where's your whisk? List of. 
Whisk. Whisk. Oh, my whisk. Oh. <laughs> you know, in the country, they don't have whisk. <laughs> they just got spoons. All right, that's thickening up a little bit more now. I never could make a good gravy either, Carmela. She said this reminds her of her mama's gravy. And he struggled with it for a while, but his sister... Um, she's got it down. She got it down she... and showed him how to do it, and he's got it down. And Lynette says you don't use milk? Milk's coming. Oh. We gotta, we gotta let it cook a little bit first. Uh, yes, we are making milk gravy. The milk will, uh, once you put milk in there, it really thickens it up and brings the volume of the gravy up. <laughs> Rhonda, that's right. They do. Rhonda says they have whisks at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> we, we actually do have a whisk. He's just like, we do. I did, this is a stoneware. So we have a whisk. We've got a whisk. <laughs> this is stoneware, and I really hate to use that metal whisk on that stoneware. Melanie, she does. Melanie's here. She said, yes, my mom makes great gravy. Uh, she taught me everything about gravy, Melanie. Lee, are you married to a great cook, too? Melanie, tell Emory to get on here and see her gravy. Uh, Edie, that, yeah, that sounds good. He is actually using, um, his meat is venison meat instead of beef, beef tonight. All right, I'm going to let this cook just a little bit more before we put the milk in there. Yeah, she is a great teacher, Melanie. She's so patient and sweet. <laughs> Melanie said, I will. She heard you. She and heard me? Emory heard you. All right, we're going to let this cook as it cooks. Uh, Brianna, uh, we do have cast iron skillet. He usually does, I mean, cooks in it a good bit, but um, tonight he's going to use this, this skillet for his gravy. I'm going to salt and pepper this real heavy. This needs, this gravy needs a lot of salt and pepper. <laughs> if you'll see, it's beginning to bubble a little bit. Sarge so, so bones bone and Bo has heard about it. Alright, this you're actually still making a roux with that water, flour, and, and grease mixture. Uh, Melanie, he made venison burgers and sauteed onions. He's doing the gravy for that. He did mashed potatoes and roasted asparagus. All right, let's see if that's enough pepper. If not, we can season to taste. Teresa's making liver and onions right now. Liver and onions? That's an old fa uh, country. Isn't that the one? Um, like so much. Um, Tammy, those are in our Amazon link. Um, I don't know how uh, it said the top of our tater bugging page, but somebody said they're sold out right now. What's that, the uh, the salt and pepper? Salt and pepper shake. Debbie Torres wants to know how much water would you use? You know what? You have to use just. Uh, there's not a measurement. I had a big old glass full, and you can see how much I've used out of there. Uh, it depends on how much grease you started out with and how much gravy you want it to be. But you, you want to get it to where it's smooth. You just keep adding a little bit of water to it until, it's, until it stays smooth. And then we're going to add the milk in there. And then it becomes that old time milk gravy. 
Dolores said that was probably about eight ounces of water. I would say that's about right. And I'm gonna, and the milk is the same way. Uh, once you get ready to add the milk, you just add enough milk and stir real constantly with this roux and you'll see the color in there. Can you, can you that see? Looks so good, yeah, they've got a good view. That's coming, that is coming together here. This is just about right. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. Probably comes out to about a probably close to a cup of milk that you want to put in there. But what you want to watch for is just the consistency. You want, I will say this, uh, as gravy cooks, uh, it begins to thicken. So you want it kind of thin to start out with. As you, as just before you're ready to serve it, you want it kind of thin because it's going to thicken up as it begins to cool. And I don't know if you can, I hope you can see this good, but you see that color there? That's good milk color. I can see it good. I'm good. All right, so now here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn the heat down a little bit because we had to heat up pretty good to make this roux. And then... We're gonna take each one of these burgers and we're gonna put, we're gonna drop them right in that gravy. Linda used to make ground beef burgers and gravy for us and it was just absolutely delicious. So coat your burgers with that gravy and Marie just got on. She said, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's been talking about you, sis. Making your gravy, sis. Look at that. Look at that milk gravy you taught me to make. <laughs> oh, Deborah, that's sweet. She, Deborah said, I totally agree with your apron. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> you don't say that. Y'all make him blush. Yes, he is making your gravy. He told him that you taught him how to make this gravy. She said it looks good. I have to make the gravy at deer camp now. <clears throat> All right, so I those... I think they liked your cooking at deer camp. They like my gravy in oh. the morning for with biscuits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Debbie. She said, ooh, dang. It's either nope. ooh, dang or ooh, darn. It's usually Udar. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take these caramelized onions that we have. Carmella, gonna... that brings back memories. That's my daddy loved that. He would always do that. We're going to drop those onions right on top of those burgers. Ooh, wee, that looks good. These onions are just right, too. Yeah. Yep, they are. And y'all know my hands are clean. You are just in time, Libby. Uh, Brianna wants to know how you make your biscuit gravy. Same way? Same way. I always make just milk gravy. That is Amory's gravy. Which I think actually came from our grandmother, Mama. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong, Emory. Is that right, Emory? Did Mama teach you how to make that gravy? I think it was handed down Mama to our mom and then oh, gotcha. to Emory. All right, so I say we need to plate this up. What do you say? Let me put this Let's milk up. Let's do it. Yeah, Emory said it was Mom's. Yep. All right, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these burgers just like this and 
put it on the plate. What do you use for fat for the breakfast gravy? Uh, bacon grease. Bacon or sausage grease. Oh, Rita Burmeister is here. Hey, Rita. Got your other screen porch on the way. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to... Let me get this plated up for you here. I have a spoon here to get some gravy. Yes, they are, Heidi. They're waiting for dinner. They don't... We usually eat around 6. They don't... They're on a different schedule. They eat They later. ate late today, so... Yeah, they ate late lunch, so... Yeah. But they'll eat, you know, they won't eat nearly, they don't eat as much now. And so they'll probably get two meals out of what he takes to them. Now look at that plate. Oh, mercy. So, we have. A steak with onions, smothered in gravy, asparagus in a cheese sauce, mashed potatoes with the same gravy on it, and this is to die for. This is this is really a good good meal here. This is good soul food. <laughs> it is. That's good comfort food comfort right there. Comfort food. That's what I'm trying to think of. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do, as usual is I am gonna let my sweet wife oh, taste a little bit. They probably wanna see you. Let's see y'all. No, gonna, it isn't Debbie, that's for sure. <laughs> no let, diet food. We're gonna see how she likes that. Let's see, I'm gonna get a, beat, a bite of this uh, hamburger first. Who's that said, oh my gosh? Sarah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh darn! Oh darn! Yeah! Oh my goodness, that's so good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. You want a bite? I do. Well, I just wanted you to try it. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. All right, so yeah, we'll... where's the slice maters? I don't eat slice maters, but he sure would. Yep. All right, we're gonna take a bite of that. Get some of that onion with it. Ooh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, some of the onion. Oh, y'all, that's Not delicious. All of it. Ooh, darn. Mm, that's good. Oh, Carmela, you're so sweet. Let's see how the asparagus is. Get you some rest. Mm. So that is just right. If in the past you haven't liked asparagus, you know, please try this. You ought to try this with this recipe. Now, don't you dump that plate of food into the floor. I see you tilting it. <laughs> the There's dog. a monster right here, yeah. really. Oh, Marsha, they love when he cooks. Yes, mm. this is going to be right up there, Allie. All right. So, what do you have? Deer burgers smothered in gravy and with some caramelized onions. We got mashed potatoes and gravy and asparagus and a cheese sauce. And it's gonna be really good. And he did all of that in an hour, y'all. And you really need to try this. This is really good. Let us know. Yes, if you try it, I want you to let me know how, how it comes out for you. Better yet, post pictures in our group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bug. Yeah, you know Lindy's probably gonna put a, a picture of this out there of mine so uh, we'd like to see your pictures too now y'all i don't think there's there's no recipe for these so there really is no recipe it's what you heard me say yeah this is uh cook some burgers make some uh make some uh or do some onions cook some burgers make some uh gravy make some mashed potatoes when you uh let me tell you this we will i always download the Come videos and upload them to um, YouTube. 
He has his own playlist. You can look this video up either on Facebook or YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, by the way, too. Yeah, um, we'd love for you to, to like and subscribe to that YouTube channel. And um, so then you can watch it, you know, and pause it as you cook and just kind of cook along with him. It makes it a lot easier that way. Yeah. And if you have any questions, shoot us a line. We'll, we'll see if we can help you with it. Sure. All right. We thank you. We've had an hour here, and we're going to move along. Y'all have a good evening. Be sure to catch Lee tonight at 7.30 at the Turquoise Valentine. Yeah, Lee, Lee Valentine has Turquoise Valentine at 7.30 tonight. And Lindy will be back on live uh, Sunday at 4. Uh, I'm going deer hunting this weekend. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies, for being here. Thank you for supporting us and following us and uh, we love y'all too penny we love all of y'all we love all of y'all and we'll see you next time we gotta eat now yeah Bye. good night <laughs>